Yeah, so you know, it's, it's always good to be on the road. Like I was telling you, I've been on the road 275 days a year. And uh, like I was saying, I was on the, on the road so many days, I remember my, uh, my, my very good friend, Chris Nanaroni, a funny comedian, uh, television uh, host. And I got a funny story about uh, Best in Chow. I, was, I, I can't remember where I was. I was in uh, the hotel late at night, the TV's on. Where, where and, were you? Uh, I, I think right now, I wanna say Winnipeg. Oh yeah, there's not much to do in Winnipeg. Yeah, I mean Winnipeg. So the TV's on, I fell asleep, right? Yeah. I hear a voice, it's yours. So I'm kinda one eye open like this, and I'm like, is that Nanaroni? <laughs> is he, what the, what the fuck is this? I, I kept hearing your voice, right? And I'm like, cause you're, I know your voice. And then I, shit, and I, I look up, you know, from TV's on, it's you. Yeah. With a big burger. And I thought it was so funny, I said, next time I see you, I'm gonna tell you, when's I haven't seen you for. Well, I came to see you in LA. In well, LA. I saw you when you took me to the Beverly Hills Hilton. No, right. not the Hilton. What's it called? The, the Beverly Hills Hotel. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We That's the only time I've been there. Yeah, and uh, and you, you were down for about a week, I think it was. I was or filming for two weeks down there. Yeah, yeah. And my daughter was not even a year she old. She was then. just born. Yeah. She was just born. I told you to come down and hang out with me, but you didn't come. It was like it was d difficult times then. All the time. New, new, newborn baby. Oh yeah. You know how it is. But man. you're okay now to be gone 275 <laughs> dates a year now. Fuck. I think my Does wife, your daughter even know who you are when you come home? She's like, hi, daddy. You're my daddy, right? <laughs> What if it, I walk in your house? You're gonna say the same thing to me. Yeah, yeah. Are you? No, I can hear you on TV at night. <laughs> no, but the funny. Here's the thing. It's like I was. I was just saying, like, be, being on the road this much. It's nice. It's comforting sometimes to go. Like here, I'm in Calgary. I got some friends here. Yeah. yeah. You especially. I've known you for almost 30 years. We, we've done shows at least everywhere. Yeah, early 90s. Early nice 90s. 90s. You. I met you. My very first tour out east. And I don't know if you remember this, but there was this whole bullshit between the East and West comics. And right, right. Everything. It was like Tupac and Biggie. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like, and I never liked that kind of garbage because the just never liked it. But Andrew's the only one of maybe a very short handful of people. You know the right. guys I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, Frosty, yeah. Frosty, yeah, 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 yeah. some other guys. Walker. Uh, the only guy that would just welcome, welcome to me, like open arms. Never an issue, never any uh, bad feelings whatsoever. And we hooked up right away. He's Greek, I'm Italian, so we have that in common. We have that in uh, common, plus common, I, think, it's just, I think we're very much, uh, we grew up the same way. We grew up the same, there's a lot of things to We had uh, relatives who wanted to take two by fours. I still love that joke. I know, you're not using you're, it, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> don't take my shit, man. You're gonna have to pay me if you take I, that shit. I don't, it's so, when you- that, You remember how it goes? That joke, oh, with the two by four. No, 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 it's- a guy and his father in a car watching yeah. a guy walk down the street. Goes, Look how big that guy is. How come we're small people? He goes, who cares if he's that big? You grab a two by four in the back of the head. You see how fast he goes down. Actually, the original was a pipe wrench. I don't pipe know where wrench. the two by four came from, see, but a pipe wrench. Who's walking around with a pipe wrench? I think being Italian, the two by four is more appropriate. Yeah. Because to me, I always laughed at that joke, man. It was, and another joke I love that you did was, you know why Zamfir is the master of the pan oh flute? Oh my god! Eh? He's the only fucking guy. <laughs> he's the only fucking guy left playing it. Holy and you know what? Shit, I've, that's old. I've, I've used that joke, but not on stage. I've used it if it's playing somewhere. I go. You know why Zamfir is the master of the pan flute? Why? He's the only fucking guy who plays one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's like first year. <coughs> yeah, god. yeah. I, I remember that joke. Memory. I remember. You, that, but that's the weird thing. It's like. I've got some kind of uh, spectrum thing happening with old stuff. With co I'll tell things to comedians, and they look at me going, who said that? And you did. Uh -huh. And you're like, oh, fuck, yeah, I did. Do you have any problems now remembering your own material? Uh, no, I thank God. Uh, it's, uh, there's no hair on your wood. Uh, <laughs> no, but, it, but I find sometimes is if I'm on stage and I'm doing something, I'll say a word or something triggers, and it opens up something yeah. I forgot about. Yeah. That's the way I used to write my material. I'd write a my base of material. And when I started talking with the crowd, we call it spritzing with the crowd. If I say, hi, where you, where you from? What do you do? They would say something to me that would trigger a piece or right. a bit and I would go into the bit and you look like a genius. Where right. did that come from? Because it was yeah. our plan. We have it, but it's, we don't know when we're gonna it bring it up. It was dormant. It's dormant. So this guy like triggers it and the way I visualize it in my head, it's like the 649, the lottery, yeah. with the balls going around. Yeah, yeah. The balls are the material. It just pops out. And one pops up and then you go with it. And if it's something that triggers a, a piece or whatever material, it'll come up. And it might be something I never, haven't done in years. Right. 
Comics are like leopards we're solitaire, right? They're very, and, I, and people don't realize that the amount of time we're on the road. Like I just, like last, literally six days ago, I was in Barbados. So I was working like on a like cruise ship. Here. Now I'm in Calgary. And this is actually, this is January in Calgary. And this is actually like spring weather. This is a nice January. It's a nice January. We can sit outside. February. And I, 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 you still wouldn't find your nuts. You're like minus 40, minus 50. Yeah. And, and I'm in LA where, you know, my wife's like, it's 63. Here, wear, wear a jacket and a blanket. I'm like, it's summer in Canada, 63. But it's nice. I mean, I'm getting, the truth is I've, the shows have been good, you know. I, you know, I'm gonna, whatever. What does every comic say? I'm crushed. crushed. I'm yeah, crushing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm crushing the shows. I'm, Did no, you but, ever hear that joke about the the two comedians talking? Did you hear about yeah. so and so? Uh, he had did this show and he destroyed. No, I didn't hear that. Uh, did you hear about he did a show over here? He killed. No, I didn't hear that. Did you hear about he did a show over here? He died. Yeah, yeah, I heard all about that <laughs> yeah. one. You can't yeah. give anybody any credit whatsoever. Yeah, they heard about the the bomb. The bomb. Never the, about the good shit. Never. Well, what's that joke? How do you make five comedians laugh? Watch one comedian bomb. I never heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I like the one. Uh, how many people, how many comedians it take to change your light bulb? How many? Three. <laughs> one to do it. Two to stand in the back of the room. Go hack, hack. <laughs> and a fourth one saying, "Who books it? Who books this shit? Yeah, who books that room? Yeah, who books it? I have tried to explain this to my friends that aren't comics. That if you haven't seen somebody for a long, long time, and the thing about comics, I used to say to them, I could pick up a guy at an airport, not knowing this person from a hole in the ground. Six hour drive, I know him better than anybody else in his sure. life. I don't see him for 10 years. Next time I see him, we, we pick, pick up, up where again. we left off. Yeah, the same thing with you, I've known you 30 years. Yeah, and we just pick up where, pick we, up left where we left off. And that's, that's the nice thing about, I don't think there's any other business that's like that. But what's nice about comics, even if you don't know them, after two hours you're complaining about the same shit. Yeah, that yeah. never changes. Yeah, that, that never changes. That never changes. That never it's changes. Like, yeah, I did that room. I did that thing. That guy's a son of a bitch. Yeah. I did this and did that. Did you get paid? What do you mean yeah, they yeah, pay for travel? I never got paid. Did you get paid? Really? Did yeah. they pay you? No, but th the thing is, is that I think that, like you just said, I'll echo it in a sense that it's nice to pick up where we live. And it's the kind of job that you, I can work with you three months in a row and then not see it for six years. Yeah. And it's and it's not because you don't want to see the print. It's the way things are booked. Well, you're it over there now. I'm going. over here now. But the, I mean, the you last go. time I saw you was when I came down to LA and we went. You took me to the hotel. The yeah, Beverly Hills. The Beverly uh, Hills. And we hung out. Had that a cigar. was fabulous. I loved that night so much. It was great. And then that was great. I was working the entire time that I was there. I never got to see you again. But that's the last time. And here yeah. we are picking up like it was yesterday. Just yeah. like Beverly Hills. Just like Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So look, buddy. Regardless of where we go, what we do, it's good seeing you, man. Good I'm, here, I'm right? happy. Uh, I'm happy. Even if it's brief, it's good to see you. Yeah, it, it's, uh, you I'm glad you called, man. We're, we're, I wanted to call you. I know we're friends. And, uh, you know, it's it's always good to see friends. You look good. I like the Thanks, beard. Bro. It looks good. Thanks, bro. And uh, we just keep doing what we're doing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if there's any comics that are watching, always remember that. Brother! You know, when you form a friendship in this industry, you've got a friend for life. If you've got a friend for life, and if you don't, and if it sucks out loud, then cut them loose. Yeah, cut.